Jewies, here's your Alexandra. In the last episode of Bloodthirst, I showed you how to basically paint a Blood Angel Space Marine with the lowest amount of time put into it. And here's the result. I added now here the boulder hole and painted the base, and now he's ready to play. <clears throat> if you want to accomplish greater painting skills, the at least thing you have to make is this here. If you can't do this, then you stop the video right here and try to paint this. And try this so long until you managed to do so. If you can't do a clean paint job like this, then you're not ready for further tutorials. So, and now I'm going on with the Bloodthirst Part 2 and we will paint another Space Marine. This time we will paint this one here. I previously have painted him, primed him in white and now we're going to, to paint him. And the first thing we need to do is to base coat the miniature <clears throat> and for that purpose we are using Macrite Red and Black. Well, I have pre-mixed them in another pot. Here, you can see the actual color. It's a very, very dark red, but it is uh, good coverage. And so, we open the pot. And we are now base coating the whole miniature. <clears throat> Simply go over the whole miniature. The color is a little bit watered down, just one drop water into it. <clears throat> yeah, the coverage is not absolutely perfect in this stage, but it's enough for our purposes. This time we don't just highlight the miniature, we are actually working with shadow areas. And so we just need a simple base coat. And we slightly paint it on. So I will go ahead and paint the rest, and I'll be back in a blink of an eye. So the Macrite Black is laid up, and now we are using a wash. The label says red wash, but this isn't red wash anymore. This was just an empty pot, and I mixed up my own wash mix. I call it Blood Angel Wash. <clears throat> it is a mixture out of three washes. One part bought up black, one part red wash or ball red wash, and one part Devlin mud. It's basically a dark brownish reddish uh, color, and here you may see it. Or Paint it here, that's the color. <coughs> and now we are simply inking the whole model. You must be sure that the whole miniature is dry before you apply the wash because the if the color is still wet underneath it will mix up with the wash and uh, you see then the white undercoat underneath. That's not uh, so good. So what we are doing here, or try to do, is to get uh, first a nice even undercoat for the next red layers we are applying. And secondly, <coughs> we want shadow areas. So that's really easy to apply. Just take an old brush and blop it over it. <clears throat> Just simply ink the whole miniature. And then, when we have done this, we are ready for the next part.
but I think this I will put up in the next video so I will split up this year again because YouTube won't allow me to put up too long videos <coughs> and in the next parts I will definitely talk a little bit more so be prepared for the next part and until then you can go ahead with this step and let it dry until I'm back. See you, you're Alexandra.